What's up, Connor High? Today is Thursday, September 7th. I'm Nathan. And I'm Aubrey. In today's show, we'll be talking about the homecoming dance, and we'll have a special segment with our cheerleaders. So stay tuned for today's episode of Total Recap. This weekend is our homecoming dance, and to tell us about our, uh, what to expect for the dance, we have our student body president, Roman Fuller. My name is Roman Fuller, and I'm the student body president. Is the dance inside or outside? This year, our dance is outside. A lot of people have been wanting it inside, but since our school is so big and we have so many great students, we are forced to have it outside, but that doesn't mean it can be any worse. It's gonna be great. What other information should we know about the dance? The dance is gonna be from eight to 11 on September 9th in the Oxfield. What is the price of the tickets? The tickets will be $20. What are you most excited for? I'm most excited for uh, the decorations. Uh, a lot of people requested and wanted this Enchanted Forest theme. So with us having a new decorator, we're really looking forward to something, some, some great photo ops and some great decorations. What can we expect to see at the dance? Um, honestly, just lots of fun, a lot of great music. Our DJ is going to be great. We have them every year. Um, yeah, just lots of fun, so definitely come out. Make sure you get your tickets at the lunch today because it's the last day. The dance will be at 8 o'clock at the Oxfield and we hope to see you guys all there. Hey, speaking of dancers. Today we wanted to highlight our cheerleaders. Let's check out an interview with our cheer captains. All right, what's up guys? We're back with another interview and we're here with... Jasmine. We're here with... Janiah Plummer. <laughs> so our first question is, when did you first get into cheer and why did you decide to do it? Um, I first got into cheer in sixth grade and it was at Bosman and it was just like a cheer club and I used to do gymnastics so I decided that I should try cheer. Um, I got into cheer in seventh grade and I decided to do it because like, I don't know, I just did. Like I always liked like, cheer and stuff when I was little. And what do you do as a cheer captain? Um, I pretty much just lead the team and like help them whenever they need help with anything. So as a cheer captain um, for football games, basketball games, and anything that we cheer at, we like call the cheers. And we're like responsible for planning things and yeah. And so what do you like about cheer? I like how we can bond as a team and um, how I get to like cheer at football games and pep rallies and stuff. I like that it's like a family. I call it we're all like a family together and it's a lot of cheerleaders. How does your team prepare to perform? Um, we just have a lot of practices, like two times a week we have UIL practice for a competition team and then we have squad practices. Our right, last question is, do you have any advice to give anyone who is interested in joining cheer? Um, I would say um, practice a lot, um, stretch, if you have tumbling, tumble, um, cheer is not easy. Um, if you're going to try out, just practice your jumps and make sure you have good technique and good technique. Our cheerleaders work hard and are always there to support our teams. Make sure to check out their performance tomorrow during the Pep Rally live stream. We will now take you to a quick commercial break. Dude. What? I don't want to sit here anymore. It's hot. What's so crowded and loud in the cafeteria? Why don't you guys go eat at the cafe? The what? Come on, I'll show you. Welcome to the pig cafe. Make sure you check out the Pit Cafe located in the Pit Gym next time you're at lunch. What's up, Connor High? I'm Caden, here with your weather today. 
Today will be sunny with a high of 103 and a low of 76. Tomorrow's looking sunny with a high of 104 and a low of 76. Saturday will have thunderstorms with a high of 100 and a low of 74. Sunday it'll be sunny with a high of 96 and a low of 69. And Monday will also be sunny with a high of 96 and a low of 69. And for the fun fact of the day, with how slow snails move about, you'd be surprised that their naps can last from three hours to three years. Now, let's take a look at today's CCC News. Hi everyone, my name is Ms. Beckham. I'm the College and Career Counselor here at Conroe High School. While I primarily work with seniors, I enjoy working with sophomores and juniors to help you figure out what you want to do after you graduate from high school. Senior scholarship season is right around the corner. We will have many scholarships become available starting in September, so make sure that you check Canvas on a regular basis. Also, if you need to come see me, we have a new location. The College and Career Center is now located in the library. So just come on in if you have a pass, and I am happy to help you anytime you have questions. Um, as always, you're welcome to email me or stop by. Thank you so much. What's up, Conor High? I'm Antonio here to bring you your sports news. Today, we're going to talk about the outstanding game Conor had last Friday against Eisenhower. Conor Tigers started off with a 20-yard touchdown to Nigel Lede to start off the first quarter. The second quarter, Chunky rushed for another touchdown before the first half. Then for the second half, both players Zach, Odell, er, Zach Allen and Keegan Odell got their first touchdown of the season. The Tigers overcame the Eagles for a 28-0 victory, starting the season off 2-0. T tomorrow will be our homecoming game against Caney Creek at our home stadium at 8 p.m. That will be all for the sports segment today. And we'll take one more quick look break. Dang. We'll take one more break, and when we come back, we'll, ha we'll have this week's Teacher of the Week interview. <laughs> Sir, there is a clear bag policy enforced at CISD stadiums. You will not be able to bring your bag out. Hey, can't loiter down here. No congregating under the stands. You can either come here to watch the game or you can go home. Disturbing other spectators. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave now. Today I'm here with Mrs. Mullen. Okay. Lisa uh, and we want to graduate of our winning teacher of the week. May we ask you some questions? Of course. Okay. What do you think that makes you different from other teachers? I know that all teachers uh, love teaching, we love our students, and uh, I guess I just go by my motto in life, don't settle for good or better, always give your best for God's glory. So I just love my students. I, I, I'm excited to work every day knowing that I'll be able to make an impact to my students. And they all, in, in return, they also bring joy in my life. <laughs> okay. Um, where did you go to school and what did you major in? Um, I went to 
college in the Philippines. It's called Ramon Magsaysay Technological University. It's now uh, PRMSU. And my major was social studies, but uh, I shifted to teaching English back in the Philippines, ESL. And when I moved here, I studied special education. And that's what I do now, teaching English resources. Uh, okay. And what made you want to become a high school teacher? I just love the connection. Um, I've taught preschool before. I've taught elementary in the past. And um, with high school students, I just love that um, that you'll be able to have a connection with them, um, talk to them heart to heart. And um, I think I just love teaching in general, whether whatever level, I just love children. What, made it, what motivates you to come to school every day? They say, you know, do what you love and love what you do. And I feel like if you love what you're doing, you just get up every morning and and you have joy in your heart, knowing that you're doing what you love, which is, you know, making an impact to your students. Okay, well, last question. What is your favorite motto or quotes? Education plus character. That's, um, oh, I'm so sorry. It's intelligence plus education. That is the meaning of true education. Finally, what do, you, what do you like to say to all you students that are watching this video? Okay, I would like to tell, first of all, um, to the one who voted me as Teacher of the Week, um, Jose, um, I am honored and humbled that um, you nominated me as your favorite teacher. <laughs> and um, I'm just speechless that um, I got this again um, yeah I know that there are a lot of great teachers here so receiving this award it uh, means so much to me so thank you so much and to all my students thank you for uh, making me happy every day and uh, I love you all okay well thank you thank you so much <laughs>